Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have a pastel neon water marble rainbow gradient with the Pretty Serious Cosmetics well-meaning but ultimately quite awkward pastel pet names collection. This is part two of their pet names collection. The last one were bright neons. These ones are bleach pastel neons. They're gorgeous, six new colors. All right, so let's get started. Step one of any water marble, cover your whole damn finger with liquid latex or scotch tape. I'm using Bundle Monster Holly Peel. And then you need some water. Room temperature is best. I like to find an old bottled water laying around. And I'm also using my brand new Pure Color Number no. 7 water marble tool that I got from What's Up Nails. So let's make the bullseye. These spread out really, really well. I was being super slow with this part. This part of the video was probably like, I don't know, nine minutes long. <laughs> I don't know, but it was long. But they stayed nice and pliable. And here we go, making the flower. Because I'm the best at making flowers, I try to do different direction kind of water marbles, but they always turn out ugly. Dunk your finger at an angle, clean it up with a Q-tip. Ta-da! And then the painstaking process of cleaning up the water marble mess. But this is where liquid latex comes in handy. Except for I put this on like way thicker than I needed to and it doesn't want to let go. watch my next finger just figured you guys would want to watch this because bullseye making is beautiful in and of itself time for the gradient nails. This time I'm using my precision brush bottle of Bundle Monster Poly Peel. And making skinny, skinny stripes on a damp makeup sponge. A damp sponge is important. Otherwise, it, you get the like little particles sticking to your nails and it gets all funky. So make sure to keep your sponge damp. And I like to dab the last color at the tip because it kind of wears off at the tip sometimes, you know, when you're trying to make a gradient. Just do a little extra dab there. I, and then I'm doing the pinky nail. You notice I'm squishing the sponge down a little bit because, you know, my pinky nail is shorter than the other one. And I'm like, how am I going to fit this whole rainbow on here? So I just gave it a little squish before I stuck it on, and it worked. Clean up, clean up. And then add your favorite top coat. Beautiful, but then I thought these are so shiny and the shine's gonna mess my picture so let's put some matte top coat on I'm using Butter London matte top coat which is my favorite because I've had some others that get like little chunks of white stuff in them I've had this for two years it's never gotten chunky and that's it hope you guys like this design let me know in the comments what you think and as always don't forget to like subscribe share with your friends all that good stuff all right, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.